Hi everybody, it's Carol. Welcome back to my channel. And what I have here is I have a wallpaper. This is, um, I believe it's Tim Holtz wallpaper. And I have some Tim Holtz paper dolls. And I just want to have a play and make some tags or cards or something for journals. And um, so I've been playing around a little bit with these. And I thought, you know, that I would come on camera and finish up and do a little bit more. And um, so this is what I have. I have quite a few things around me here. And I just have to wipe off some of this glue that I have on my, that I have on my hands from previous crafting. Okay, so this is really pretty, this here, and I'm not sure if I want to leave this on here. It's kind of like, this must be a replica of like real wallpaper. I don't know, but it, you know how when you get wallpaper, it'll say join here, and it may have like this here, it says made in England. So, um, I don't know. I think I may leave it on there just for interest. And I'm thinking I would like to put a family in here. But you know what? They're going to be so tall. What I may do is maybe put these here. This it looks like brother and sister. They're smaller. So maybe I'll leave them, I'll make this two pieces. So I'll keep them over there and I'll keep the family on this side. And let me glue these people down first. Okay, I think I'm losing my voice today. And, um... I don't know if I'm coming down with a cold or if it's my allergies. It's probably my allergies because it's been cold here and we have a wood burning stove and we've been burning that a lot. And it seems to, well, you know, wood burning stoves, it dries, dries you up. So I have a little bit of a raspy throat. Okay. They look cute. And then I'll put these guys over here. But I'm going to keep them right to the bottom because this is this is not this is not leaving me much room. I love working with the Tim Holtz people. Okay. So I think I'm going to use my cutter because I know I'm not going to get this straight. And I probably should have cut it before I put, although I have a better sense of how much room I have. Perfect. Okay. Okay, this is looking good. This is going to be a fat card, but that's okay. Um, yeah, these look good, and I don't know, you know, I don't know how I'm going to use it, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to maybe do some decorating. This butterfly is huge. I have a smaller one that I can just, I think I'm just going to ink this butterfly. And 
and just glue it down there. I think that'll be pretty. Although, do we need a little... I could put... Maybe I have a skinny washi tape here. Oh, I do. I have a goldy one. And I will put a strip here because there is some... Oh, you know what I'm going to do with this? I'm going to use my glue stick wherever it is. Okay. Glue stick seems to hold the washi tape really good. So I just want to put this goldy washi tape on here if I can find the um, end of it. It's so hard to find the end of these. Oh my goodness. I think I have it. Okay, I do. Uh, you know, it's not ripping straight. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm going to rip that off. We'll ink this. And you know, I don't know how I'm going to use it in a journal, whether it's going to be a, a writing card or, or a tuck or what. So I'm just going to put the butterfly on here up on the top. I think that'll be pretty. color of the butterfly looks really pretty on here. Very nice. And I don't know whether I should put wonder if I should put a tab on the top. I think it'll look pretty up here, but I don't know how I'm going to use it, so maybe I shouldn't because I could use it as a side tuck where all you have to do is put something behind it. So I think I'm just going to put that off to the side and I'll finish up with this here. Now this could be a journaling card. This is five by five by five. I cut I could cut this strip off and I may do that only because it looks a little strange, I think. So I could probably use that for something else. And this, this wallpaper, it is so great, too. Um, I love writing on the back of this. It's, it's a, it has like a texture on the back of the wallpaper. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this here. 
we have the flowers there we could put another butterfly up here or what else do we have we have this um could put this on here I'll cut this down a little bit smaller. This is the word blessed. And this family looks very blessed. Okay, let's get this. the ends of this white paper. And put this on the bottom. This says blessed. And let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else I have. Okay. I do have... I have other washi tape that I could put there, but I don't know. I can put this up here and I can staple it's so pretty this picture is so pretty with the, the beautiful family and the flowers on here and I think it you know I think I'm just gonna stick this down and just put the sari silk on top I don't think it needs anything more because it looks so pretty. And when I have something so pretty like this, I don't want to take I don't want to take away from the picture itself. Maybe I should. You know, this would be a beautiful tuck place, too, I think. I don't know now. I'm, I'm second-guessing myself because if, I, if you put this in a journal, this would be a beautiful tuck, you know, and then you can use it as something. Otherwise, if I put this on, it'll have to be a... Well, it doesn't have to. You can still use it as a tuck. But, you know, I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And let's see. What do we have here? And we have... We have these two sisters. Should we put them on sideways? Oh, that's pretty. That's cute. This is cute, or else I have this hair wallpaper, and then I have this wallpaper. I have a whole stack of wallpaper. Gosh, it's just, just trying to decide which ones. I think I'm liking this one. I think I like this one on here. And we have, I have, um, oh, I'll use those later. Let's see, I have, I 
I don't know if I would. Maybe I should cut this down a little bit. Now let me see where I should cut this. So if I put them here, I'll cut this over here. And I don't think I want to keep it this wide. So we'll put... Did I have them going this way or this way? Okay, we'll do this. We'll put them here. And maybe I'll... I have nothing planned. This is just kind of like, what are we going to do? just trying to give it a little bit more interest. So I'm just going to ink this up a little bit. And I'll put, put her over there. This is really kind of wide, so I think I think I should cut it down maybe. Now I'm gonna eyeball this and yeah, most of the time it doesn't turn out. I always tend to um, go out in the middle. Okay, so. Let's see. So if I glue this down and put the girls on there. And then I do have let me cut this out here. this out. This is ephemera. I believe it's from Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. You know, like I said, I've been working on Christmas things for quite a while. So my normal, my normal papers and whatnot that I have, I don't, you know, and just trying to organize things and then I use them and then they get unorganized and then you try to organize them again then I forget where I picked them up from either I bought them or they were gifted to me or you know I got them from somewhere and I just don't remember where okay I know this is probably hard to say Oops, okay. Although, you know, I do have my frames too. So let's see if I can bring them in. It's just blending in too much with this paper. Let me get more of a whitish. Okay, let's see if this will be better. I think this, this is just blending in too much that Ugh. I do like that. I like it on the green side because there is green on there. Yes, I'm liking that. 
And I think I may have to cut it down though because it could be a little too a little too wide. Well, well you know, let me measure this paper. Because if it's close to six, then it could be tight for one, two, three, if it's five. It could be okay for a journal. So if I put, oh my gosh, I'm sticking to this pad here. I do like that. Okay, now. I'm just trying to see what I have here. I do have some floral, but it could be. And this, if this came with, see, this is just it mixes in too much because it, these here pieces of flowers, they did come with the, um, it came with the uh, wallpaper. Okay, I think I'm liking this. I like this. And let's see if there's some kind of... Do I have... I do have numbers here. I think I like it exactly like that. I'll ink that. I'll ink the girls. I, I think I did ink this already. These frames are from another project that I had done. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I will glue this and just stick it under the frame. I'm not going to put it down too tight right now because, okay. And this here, I will use the wet glue. And hopefully too much does not come out. Okay, so. I think this is going to be good where I'm putting it down. So, fingers crossed. Let's see. Okay, that looks good. So, we'll get these girls down. Oh my gosh, when I start to craft and when I'm, you know, getting together some ephemera and papers that I think I may be using, I, I give myself way too much credit because I bring so much with me and then I end up only using like two and three things or I end up completing you know, three or four. Not as much as I thought I would. 
I just think I'm, well, I'm ambitious to do it, but it just doesn't, now look how wide this is. I think it's going to be too wide in the journal. I may have to cut it down. So let's see if I just take some off this end. Both ends if I could. I know it's not a lot, but at least it it helps somewhat. <clears throat> and then I'll do I even need this on now? Or do I even want that one on? I think this one's too light. It's a light blue. I have this. I also have it in green. This is part of a paper pad, but it could be too dark. I could put, cut this blue one. It's almost like putting washi tape on there. I do, lo I do love washi tape on here, and I think I may put the washi tape. Now I do have polka dot washi tape. Although I think I'll use this hair washi tape. It's like blue floral. It's probably even hard to see because it's it's kind of um, light and it's transparent I will round these corners is pretty. I think I made this is going to be big, but I think I'm going to, I'm going to cut it and have it be number 201. I think that'll be nice. I like having this dark little bit up here. I think it looks nice because you have the black up here and you have the black on their boots. Okay. So, and I don't know how I'm going to use that because, you know, because, let's see, I do have these little, these little kids here. How cute are they? 
and this here could be a little tuck or I have this one here this is cute they're cute on here although they make it stand out better on here this would definitely be a little tuck for these for these little kids okay let's see this would probably be a, a side tuck if I kept these these little guys on here And it's a good way to use up this little, this little thing. They hang, this little piece, they just sit right there. Oh, that's better. I think it looks better this way. Okay, and let's see. We have the word beautiful. Oh gosh, this is nice. And it's it's just a simple just a simple simple tuck spot. So we'll put that up there. These guys down here, let me Get more glue on here. Okay. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh, I am so gluey. I wonder if I can put this little band here and have them stand on there. So that they're not just okay. I think this is the best way to craft you know you have an idea and you bring your all your belongings out that you're that you'd like to work on and then it just goes from there you know okay I haven't worked with these um, paper dolls in a while, and I'm really, really liking this. Oop. Okay. Okay, don't they look sweet? So simple. It's so cute. Look at that. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to use it. If it's going to be, um, let's see, do I, okay. Here's a journal I was working on a couple days ago. Actually, earlier, earlier today. So if I keep it on this page, then I would round this you know this like if it was in the, at the bottom here I may just round these two but if it's on this side of a page then I would round those so I'm not sure where it's going to go so I'm not going to do anything right now just going to secure his feet that are coming up Ooh, all their feet Okay, that 
that's better. Okay, so let's see how we're doing here. Okay, so, oh, let me do this paper here. We haven't used this one yet, I don't think. No, we'll do something with this guy. Oh, look at this. I have all little kids. Let me see if I have any adults here. Yes, I have ice skating. Although, I do have wallpaper that's already cut. So, let's use this here. And I do have some dictionary, more dictionary words. I think, okay, let's see. This one here says grass, <laughs> but um, I guess you wouldn't need, like if I put it here just to give myself some words to put words on here like a dictionary you wouldn't even see that it said grass although I do have this here that I can bring in let me bring this here in because I like these words well I like this um I like the the font on here. Let me ink it up. Oh, that looks nice. And I like the script on here. Oops, let's see. I may have to put it on this side. I should probably just start gluing as I'm building otherwise. It's just going to not confuse me, but I'm going to start double thinking myself saying, oh, I'm going to put this here, this here, and then I change my mind over and over. So I'm just going to glue it down as I'm building it up. And let's see. Nice. Oh, look what I have here. I do have some Tracy Fox. And these are pretty. I'm going to grab this one right here. I love her labels. The real different sizes and the colors are a little different and it just gives it so much interest. How pretty does that look? Okay, so I'm just going to glue this down. And I think when I'm finished with this, I am going to make myself a cup of tea because my throat is really getting hoarse. Like it's feeling, it's feeling like it needs a cup of tea. And speaking about tea, I think I want to cut this little teapot out. Ladies' hats and boots. 
I like this, but I think it's going to blend in too much. But you know what? Let me try it because... You're not going to know unless you try it. I do want to ink this up. And this will also, inking it will darken it so that when I put it on here, you'll have a little bit more of a contrast. But this is really wide. I may have to chop this down a little bit also. And I could take a little bit off here. I should probably be measuring this before I glue everything down. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I can certainly feel it. And my throat's getting, it feels very raspy. And I know it's from the wood stove. But I'll tell you, it's... It's been so cold, you know, but of course it's winter, so, you know, it's, we're getting the weather we're supposed to. And, you know, we do have a, a wood burning stove and we use it all. See, oh gosh, look what I did. I glued this down. I'm not going to be able to, oh, okay, let's see if I can slip this under. Okay, but you know what? I didn't glue it. So we'll get half of it glued because the other half is being glued by the lady because she's glued. Okay. And then I'm just going to snip a little bit of this off because this is this is just way too wide. One, two, three, five. it's five inches. And it's okay if part of this is snipped off because I'm okay with that. I think it looks pretty cool. There you go. I mean, it's better. It's Four and a quarter, and it was five. Okay, I will round these edges. And I think I'm going to put some, I will put some, a little bit of, Down here, I'm going to put a little bit of my polka dot. Washi tape. Oh, that looks cute there. And then I'll put a little bit up here. Now, I'm not sure if this is um, Tim Holtz washi tape because I did get quite a few pieces of it. So I'm just not sure if this is one of them. It could be because I know this is Tim Holtz. This is Tim Holtz. This, I believe, is Tim Holtz. These are not. So this polka dot could be, not sure. So let me ink this card. Oh, 
Oh, these turned out, these turned out nice. Let's see, I only made five. See what I mean? I mean, I, um, I, I will have another play with these because I love using Tim Holtz paper dolls. And you know, I just got some. I ordered some not that long ago, but they came out they came out so dark, you know, and I don't I don't know where the pack is. Otherwise I would show them to you, but they came out pretty dark and I was a little disappointed. I mean the pictures are nice, but the background is I did have them here with me. Where did I put them? Oh boy, I wish I had them because I did want to. Oh, unless I put them in here. Hold on, hold on. Yes, here they are. Oh, you know, they don't look too bad on camera, but you know, everything just seems to be, yeah, they're not being on camera, but looking at them in person, they're just so dark. You know, like the clothing, the clothing is dark. Like, see that boy? His pants, his shoes, his jacket, it just kind of blends in. And like these here, see like the, the coats and the legs, this little girl here and here. This girl has white or boy white pants, so it brightens it up. This little girl's okay. But this little girl, or you you know, like the clothing is just so dark and it could be because it's these are like winter. I just thought it was the clothing is so dark that it's hard to use but I am um, you know I just I just love working with the Tim Holtz people so anyway so thank you so much for coming along and joining me and I have five more that I just made so just added to um, my ephemera for journals so thank you so much for coming along and we'll talk soon. You have a good rest of your day. I'm going to get my tea now. Okay, bye-bye.